Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, this is The World of Wayne, another big monumental moment on The World of Wayne channel. We have got the Agora Models New York fire truck, this is the final episode, we're going to have the completed fire truck. So in pack 12, we're going to be doing stages 70 to 78. I've left the diorama in the house now, so I'll get most of the beauty shots later on in the video in here and then I'll put it into the diorama and I'll take some beauty shops into the old man cave as well. Now if you want to get this for yourself I have put a link down in the video description to the Agora Models website you can get this all the way from pack one and build this remarkable vehicle really happy with this one it's a very heavy vehicle as well it doesn't look like it but it's very heavy it shows the amount of metal in there uh, but we are going to be finishing this today so without further ado let's get cracking. So the final pack is going to start with stage 70 here, which is the uh, left fly section. Just get these little parts out. And it is worth noticing in this pack, we do have a pack of screws here. Now I'm guessing these are spare screws if you need some along the uh, build. Uh, so I'm actually going to start using them now because I'm going to need a C screw for this stage. And uh, there is some C screws in here. And the first thing we're going to do is in this little end here, I've got a D-shaped pattern. I've got a stop plate to put in. This is shaped to the same as that pattern. It's just a push in. So I'm going to get this all the way in. Uh, the next one we've got is this waterway bracket, which looks like this. We've got a little hole at the bottom. That's going to go on this way here. And this is what's held in with that C-screw. It is held in from the underside. So I'll get a screw in here now. Just like that. And there you go, that's in. And that's all there is to do in that stage. Now, in a similar way, in stage 71, we're gonna be doing the right-hand side fly section. Once again, we've got the little stop plate here to put in. This is quite a tight fit, so I have been just getting a cocktail stick, putting a little bit of oil just in that D-shaped hole to help get this in. And that clips in perfect like that. Now you have to go back into your box of bits from uh, previous stages, stage 62, because I need the waterway connector here. This is basically just gonna be connecting to this inside piece here, like that. And then once that's in, I'm actually gonna be piecing both of these pieces together. So this is gonna go on like that. As you can see, this is now able to move up and down. We do need to actually secure this together though, and I'm going to be doing that with two of these eye screws. So one in this end. And one in the top end, just here. Now going back into things I had previously, I'm looking for the pistons. Now these came in stage 52. I'm just going to be putting these into place. These are going this way round where we've got some holes at the side into the holes just like this. So one in that side, one in the other side just there. And they're going to be held in with type F screws just from each side here. So that's the first one going in there. That's now secure in there. Do the same on the other side. And then we want to grab the platform. Now we made this right at the very start of the build. but That's looking like that. Put these two pillars up here and that's what we're going to be threading these pistons onto because there is holes at the bottom there now. So get them inserted in one side and the other. That's going to seat that into position. Now want some more type F screws because this is what's going to secure this into place. Make sure that these bits here are fully engaged and the F screw is just going to go through the side just here. Now that will ensure that this is able to pivot. So that's one. Do one the other side. That's the second one in just there. So we have got that able to move just like that. Very good. I now need the ladder bracket. That looks like this. This came in stage 63. I'm going to put this into place now. That's just going to go onto this section just there. 
and that's held in with two C screws. So I'll get both of these in. Always the fun bit this one. Bring over the fire truck. And I hope I position this so you can see this. But this is then just going to go into the end of this section just here. So push it in. And there we go. That's in place just like that. Probably best on the side camera there. You can see that. <laughs> That's looking really good. But that is all there is to do in that stage. Let me just put that down. There you go. Perfect. Now I'm just going to put the fire truck right to the back so you can still see this area here. Because in stage 72, I've got a storage compartment to put in, some walkway and some more tools. So I'll get the walkways out first. And the first walkway is just going to be going onto this section here. So line everything up and then push that down. Just had to turn that towards myself then just to make sure that that's sitting in there flat. Let's put that to one side while I make the other storage box here. That's in this packet. I've got the little handle to put in at the front there. Just like that. I have another walkway here just to put on top. Again, these uh, walkways do have different size lugs to dictate which way around they go. So that's clipped in like that. Bring over the fire truck again. And this one's just going on the back over here. Just like that. Again, noticing the way that these lugs are, I've got a little bit of walkway here, which is just going to go into this section just here. You will notice when I push these in, I'm actually holding it from the bottom. So I'm not putting too much pressure pushing the fire engine down. But as you can see, that's in there. Got some tools here to put in. Which is a ram jack and an axe. I think it's the axe I'm going to need first. That's going into this storage cupboard here. Open the doors. And I'll put this into the holes just at the bottom there. I've already got an axe in that side, so I should have an axe in the other side as well. Let me just check. I haven't, so I'm going to put it in the other side. <laughs> just like you saw there with the one I had in the uh, in this right side here. What I will do on this side, though, is open this out and slide this compartment drawer out. This is where the jack rams go in. So I'll push this in. That's in like that, and then just slide that back in. And that is all there is to do in that stage. I've been waiting ages for this one. This is stage 73. We're going to be doing the rear wheels. So all I'm going to do is take a wheel and a rim and push the rim into the wheel. Now, I can tell you straight away, these are quite hard. I don't think I'm getting this in without putting some hot water in here. So I'm going to go get some hot water now. So as if by magic, I do have that here. I'm just going to drop all of these into there. Let that soak. My jewellery rag, which I'm using. That's why it's so filthy, because it's been polishing lots of chrome and stuff up. Two of the wheels are going to have these rims put in. And then two of the wheels are going to have these rims put in. Let's do this one first. I'll show you how easy this is once you've got... It's soaked, as you can see, it goes on perfect. Just make sure that it's sitting perfect in the tire. So I've got one side looking good. I'm just going to need to do the same on the other side there. I think we're good. Just checking that all the way around. Perfect. And let's just continue that with all of these rims. All of the wheels are now done. They're actually going to be feeding both of these together. So they lock into place like that. They do want me to put a little bit of glue just inside this edge here. So I will just dot a little bit of glue just around the inside and piece these together. So that's one. Do the same on the other side. And that's the second set done as well. 
And with those two sets, that's all there is to do in that stage. In stage 74 here, I'm going to be attaching the wheels and I have got some components for the roof. So I need this type L screw, bring over the fire truck. And quite simply, if you can just see this on the side camera, I'm gonna put the wheels on. And I'm gonna hold them in with size L screws. Once that's on, all that's left to do is to just put the hubcap on that wheel. Once again, put the fire truck to one side. Because I'm now going to make another storage box here by putting one of these flasks just in the end. I've got this large accessory here, which is going to be going into the holes just here. Get that lined up. Make sure you can see it in the lugs at the bottom. That's not going to move. This is going to go on the fire truck. Hard to see, but we've already done one of these on this side here. So I'm going to put one just on the other side. Probably best to actually lift the ladder to do this. So I can push this in. Perfect. That's in like that. I've got another sand bottle here which is going into the other side of this box over there and then I've got one more little storage container here with a flask just going into that push that in again should be enough to hold it if not in the case of my one just drop a bit of glue in there and just like we've got one on this side here this one's going to be going on the other side there is a little d-shaped pattern so it can only go in one way it's going to go in this way here push that down and there we go that's that one in as well. All I've got then is a traffic cone. That's just gonna go into this area just there. And that is all there is to do in that stage. In stage 75 here, I have the aerial base section ladder and waterway. Let's get this open and bring out this waterway as well. Now it is worth noticing when we attach the ladder, there are two different ways it goes. We've got screw holes here. The one that's nearest to the end is at the bottom. The one furthest away is at the top. So this is the bottom here. Bring over the fire truck again. And I'm gonna be putting this into this section just like this here. Now it does need screws to go in either side and they are B screws. And I'm going to be putting one in this side, one in this side, and doing the same up the top there. Now I'll just put this down so you can see that that's now in place just like that, secured from both ends here and here. I want to take this pipe here, which is going to go into the end of this section. And then with the tab that we've got on this side, it's going to press into the little hole that I've got on the end just here. So let's get this one in and push that in there. So now that's fixed. So when the ladder goes up, the pipe goes with it, as you can see there. Perfect. And that is all there is to do in that stage. So stage 76, exactly like we've just done there, we've got the lower middle section now that we're gonna be creating. So again, the top one is furthest away. And this is gonna go on the next, let's move this over one along here so I'm just gonna pull this out and this is basically fixed to this section but when it goes in it's gonna slide underneath the ladder we've already put in here feed this ladder through so it's going on to the first ledge in here there you go perfect and then attach it at this end once again with the B screws so that's in place so now I can push these together bring that in and that ladders now inside this section perfect and then this time this tube is actually going to go inside the tube there slot it all the way along and then the end if I just bring this out again is just going to go into the hole that I've got here so now that's all one piece 
excellent. That's all there is to do in that stage. You pretty much get the idea of what we're doing now. So exactly the same with stage 77. Again, this one is going to go on to this end just over here. And it's going underneath this ladder. Like that. And again, I just attach it between these brackets here and here. Once again, take the pipe, put that all the way down here, secure that tab into the end. And then we can slot that section all the way in. Pull the last bit out here because the last ladder now, which is stage 78, which was also the last pack of this whole build, even though we've got lots of other details to put in that we've had from previous stages. Once again, this one's just going in underneath this ladder. Get that all the way in. Like that. And attach that to the end here with B screws. Lastly, put the pipe in this section. Exactly as we've been doing previously. Move that down. And then put that in just like that. Excellent. Now we had the pipe from stage 62, which looks just like that. Probably best on the top camera and the side camera. This is going to go into this pipe here at the end. Push that all the way on. And the other side is going into the side of the platform just down the bottom there. If I tilt this just over slightly, you should be able to see how that is. So in stage 40, we had these lights here, one here and one here. Again, probably best on the side camera, but these are going into the D-shaped holes you can see on these walkways here to get these in. One in that way. And one in that side. I've got this floodlight, which looks like this. This came in stage 20. This just goes behind the cab section, just into the hole that we've got there. So I'll get this one in. Perfect, that's the floodlight in. I've then got the wipers. Now I've just put them in at the front, just like that. Now while I'm working at the front here, I do have a tiny mirror to put on. A couple of holes here for that to go on here. So that's on there. I do have another tiny light to put on here, which is just going into the top. Get that in. Like that. Excellent. I also have another flashlight that you saw last time, which is just going to go on the other side of the fire truck here. Lots of little tiny details that we had right at the start of the build. I'm thankful that I kept them safe. <laughs> now I've got a front bumper mirror to put on, which looks like that. That's going actually from the top here. And it goes into the two holes that we see there and the one at the top. So if I get this in, um, two, and put the top one in as well, three. That's that mirror in place. I've then got wing mirrors to put on. So this one is going on the passenger side. And again, these are just a push in onto the door there. They haven't asked me to glue them. I suppose you can glue them. I'm leaving mine like that and just do the same on the driver's side. Just wrapping up a couple of these little bits of equipment here. Some hose and I've got some rope. These are going to go in the back storage compartments. Right at the back here. If you can see that and the other side. And there's the rope. Let's just put the rope in the bottom of that one there. Shut that up again. Which means the last details we've got here are the ladders. And they're just going into the storage 
compartment at the back. Hopefully you can see this. And they're just going to be fitting at an angle here when we put these in. And they should go down the whole length of the vehicle to keep them in. Just like that. So that is the fire truck complete. So I think I'm now gonna give you some beauty shots. And there you go, look at me, I'm covered in snow because I've just had to put it back in the house just to film that last bit on the shelf with the diorama and it's chucking it down a snow out there. So uh, everything you see here is uh, snow. <laughs> <laughs> anyway listen this is an absolutely great build i really enjoyed that last pack as well and as you can see it's all singing all dancing and everything works so if everything works always a bonus for the world away channel if you want to get this for yourself this is available for the agora models website and i have put the link down here to the agora models website and you can get that all the way from pack one but i really hope you like that video if you did please remember to give me a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed already please remember to subscribe other than that take care